In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you a technique to make a text appear apparently out of nowhere in the middle of the screen and then scroll to the right or to the left. This technique is not found natively in PowerDirector up through version 16, nor in Tidler Pro 1.0 or 1.5, which are bundled with some versions of PowerDirector. You do find it with Tyler Pro version 5.0. But if you don't own that program, which is rather pricey, we'd like to show you another way to make that happen. So what I'm going to do is I have a clip of a car driving down the road and I'd like to highlight something. So let's go ahead. We're going to shrink the visible area of the uh, preview screen. Then we're going to drag our clip into track number one. And I'm also going to drag it in track number three. Now what we're going to do is we'll sandwich a title in between these two tracks. Moving to our title room, I'll click on my default title, drag that down into track number two. Then I'll double click on it. We're going to position the title. I, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, with it highlighted, I'm going to make it smaller. We'll make it like 26. And I will, I will have the title so it ends right here above the skyline roughly and so that's where I want my title to end I'll click on OK now obviously I cannot see my title because my second copy of my original clip is obscuring it because it's in the lower track uh, so if I turn off that layer there I see my title I'll turn it back on again what I need to do is basically punch a hole into uh, this clip on track number three. The way I do that is with a mask. So I'll cl click and highlight that particular track. On the designer area above, I'll use the drop down and do mask designer. And I want my text to emerge from the right. It's going to show up on the left, but I want to see it on the right. So I need to mask the right area uh, so you don't see that originally. So I'm going to double click on my rectangular mask here and then I'm going to change the properties of the mask. We'll uncheck ma maintain mask aspect ratio. And here we have it and we see already that what it's doing to the text, wherever the mask exists, the text is not seen. That masks the whole thing. I'm just going to move it over here and I can make I could make it actually the size of half the screen if I wanted to. But the title, when I give it some motion with keyframing, will come out from behind the mask. So let me make it so it starts to appear maybe right in the middle here. So that's my mask. I'll click on OK. And there I have a mask. I do see the title. What I'm going to do is double click on the title now and we'll keyframe the title. Uh, the title ends over here. Let's say we want it there in, oh, what would be a good time frame? Um, let's try just three seconds. Okay, there's three seconds on the clock. And so we'll take that there and we'll say this is where we want this to be in three seconds. So we'll click the down arrow. I'm going to use my position keyframe value and click on the diamond that will set a position right there. Now I need to go back to the beginning of, of my uh, title in the clip and I need to move it to the right. If you want it perfectly horizontal, the easiest way to do that is basically to do that with the keyboard. I'm just holding down the right arrow key, backing it up uh, to where I want the title to start. And I can start it anywhere behind the mask I want to. It doesn't matter. And then I'll, uh, so it sets the keyframe here. So if I go ahead and play this, what I'll see is it comes out from behind the mask and appears on the screen. So I click on OK and I'll go back in my regular project. We'll enlarge it so we can see it a little bit better. And when I play my movie, I have my text magically appearing and then moving to the left. Unfortunately, I don't know a way to do, use multiple masks 
on the same clip with PowerDirector, but hopefully someday that will be something we can do.